Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Math Bell Ringer. This is Mr. Geiger again, and today is Thursday, January 21st, 2021. Let's go ahead and get started with today's first problem. So what we're going to do here is we are going to write a variable expression for the given statement, okay? I know there's a lot on here, but we're going to have to read through the problem, and we are going to have to write the variable expression in order to solve the problem, okay? So... At Saturday night's football game, there were 18 less fans than half the fans at Friday night's game. There were X fans at Friday's game. Write an expression to represent the number of fans at Saturday's game. Okay? So, it says at Saturday night's football game, there were 18 less fans than half of the fans at Friday night's game. So, we need to use X to represent the variable for the number of fans that were at this game, okay? So go ahead and try your best on this variable expression and come back whenever you're finished. Welcome back. And so we are going to be looking here at this variable expression, okay? So we need some important information out of this problem. So the first important bit of information is that there were, on Saturday's game, there were 18 less fans than half the fans at Friday night's game, okay? So that's important information to know right here, okay? There were 18 less fans than half of the fans that were at the game on Friday. So if we think about Friday's game, we have to think about there were half of those people for Saturday's game, okay? And then there were 18 less than that half. So what I'm thinking here is if we have Friday night's game, we need to use X to represent that. So there were half as many there. So we need to find the half first, okay? We're finding half of this first, and then we would subtract that 18, okay? So hear me out on this. So there were 18 fewer fans or 18 less fans at the game on Friday than half of them were, or on Saturday than half of the Friday's game, okay? So what that's saying is we would have to find half of how many were at Friday's game and then we would subtract 18, and that's how many were people were at Saturday's game, okay? So that is how you solve this problem. So how many of our fans were at the game on Friday? You would take half of that and then subtract 18, and that's how many were at Saturday's game. Okay? Pat yourself on the back if you got that correct. If you didn't, I know it was a little tricky, but we need to start working more on these kinds of problems, okay? Moving onward. So now we're going to use PEMDAS to solve this order of operations problem, okay? Go ahead and solve the problem to come back whenever you're finished. Welcome back. So we have 144 divided by parentheses 3 times 4 and then close the parentheses times 15, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this. So PEMDAS, again, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Okay, so the first thing we need to find are parentheses. Parentheses being 3 times 4 is 12. And let's rewrite everything else that we have not yet done. Oops, it should be 144. Okay, now we have division and multiplication. Those two come together, so whichever one comes first in the problem, reading left to right, is the one that we have to do first. So we have to divide 144 by 12. Well, I know that 12 times 12 is 144, so 144 divided by 12 would be 12. But in case you need to see that visualized here, let's look over here. 12 goes into 14 one time. 1 times 12 is 12. 14 minus 12 is 2, bring down the 4. And then 12 goes into 24 2 times because 2 times 12 is 24. Subtract and get 0. So the answer to that was 12. So we have 12 times 15. Okay, 12 times 15. Now let's multiply. 5 times 2 is 10. Carry the 1. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6. Cross out the 5, cross out the 1, and put a 0 down here because we're multiplying by 10 now, not just 1. Okay? 1 times 2 is 
2, 1 times 1 is 1, add them up, Six or 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 2 is 8, 1 plus nothing is 1. So the answer here is 180. Great job if you got that correct. And if you didn't get it correct, be sure that you uh, either go back and watch the problem again, or you may need to ask your teacher for a little bit more help with this, okay? Because I know that this right here, where the multiplication and division come together, that can be a little confusing for some. All right, now let's solve this exponent, okay? So it's nine to the fourth power. So you're gonna to have to solve this exponent, okay? Come back whenever you're finished. Welcome back. So what we need to do here is we need to first, let's turn this into an expression, which nine to the fourth power, we always have our base, which is nine here, times the exponent tells us how many times we have to multiply it. So it's nine, four times. Nine times nine is 81. 81 times nine. So 81 times nine. Nine times one is nine. Nine times eight is 72, so 729 times this nine here, 729 times nine. Nine times nine is 81, carry the eight. Nine times two is 18, plus eight is 26, carry the two. Nine times seven is 63, plus two is 65. So our final answer for this is 6,500. 61. All right, we are moving on now to our final problem of the day, which is you're going to have. Okay, so now we're on to our final problem of the day. We are going to complete the function table for the equation below, okay? So our equation here is 17x minus 25. Y equals 17x minus 25. So what we need to do here is we need to plug in where x is 25 into the x, okay? Go ahead and solve that and come back whenever you're finished. All right, welcome back. So what we're going to do here is we're going to plug in 25 in for the x, so it's 17 times 25 minus 25. So let's do 17 times 25 here. Five times seven is 35, carry the three. Five times one is five, plus three is eight. Bring down the zero, cross out the five, cross out the three. We're now multiplying by 20, that's why we brought the zero down. Two times seven is 14, carry the one. Two times one is two, plus one is three. Add them up. Five plus zero is five. Eight plus four is 12, carry the one. One plus three is four, 425. So now I need to subtract 425 minus 25. 425 minus 25, 5 minus 5 is 0, 2 minus 2 is 0, 4 minus 0 is 4. So 400. Okay, now let's move on to where x is 16, okay? Go ahead and solve that and come back whenever you're finished. Welcome back. So what we have here is we are going to be solving for where x is 16. So it's 17 times 16 minus 25, okay? So 17 times 16 first. Six times seven is 42, carry the four. Six times one is six, plus four is 10. We're going to bring down our zero because now we are multiplying in the tens place and we're not multiplying by just one, it's actually 10. Seven, one times seven is seven, one times one is one, let's add them up. Two plus nothing is two, zero plus seven is seven, one plus one is two. So 272 minus 25. All right, so two minus five, I can't do it. Take away from the seven, make it a six, turn the two into a 12. 12 minus five is seven. 6 minus 2 is 4, 2 minus 0 is 2. So 247 here. All right, let's go ahead and solve for where x is 34, okay? Let's go ahead and solve for where x is 34. Go ahead and solve the problem and come back whenever you're finished. 
Welcome back. So we have 34 here. Let's go ahead and plug it in. 17. So it'd be 17 times 34 minus 25. 17 times 34 first. 4 times 7 is 28. Carry the 2. 4 times 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6, 68. Bring down the 0. 3 times 7 is 21. Carry the 2. I'll just keep that one here. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 2 is 5. Add them up. 8 plus 0 is 8. 6 plus 1 is 7. 5 plus nothing is 5. So we have 578. All right, everyone, I hope this makes sense. If not, be sure to ask your teacher for help. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you in the next bell ringer tomorrow.